The R1000 Asher is a microprocessor controlled downstream or afterglow photoresist stripper that will strip the front and back side of a wafer, typically in less than one minute. It is also able to function as a descommer by removing approximately 200 to 500 angstroms of photoresist. The Asher can also remove a maximum of one micron of photoresist per sample. The Gasonics Asher can process 1 to 25 4 inch wafers during a run. The Asher can either remove the photoresist from the wafer or do a descom on the wafer. There are currently two recipes on the system. Recipe A is a one minute recipe used to remove up to one micron of photoresist. Shipley 1813 photoresist was used to test the removal rate. Recipe B is a 30 second recipe used for a descoming process. A typical process involves a one minute RF warm up time. The wafer is then loaded onto the process sample holder which is located on the door that seals the chamber. The chamber is then pumped down. Next the chosen recipe is run. Then the chamber vents and the door opens. The unload arm loads the process wafer into the unload boat. If there are more wafers located in the load boat, then the process repeats itself until the load boat is empty. Now let's introduce our lab users. We will now go over the various parts of the Gasonics Asher. The cover plate seen here will be removed so that we have a better view of the loading and unloading process. The cover should be in place during regular use. The load platform is located on the left side of the Asher. It holds the boat with the unprocessed wafers. The load arm takes a wafer from the load boat and sets it onto the process sample holder. The process sample holder is located on the main door that seals the chamber. Once the process is finished, the unload arm removes the wafer from the process sample holder. It then places a sample onto the boat located on the unload platform. The unload platform is located on the right side of the Asher. It holds the processed wafers. The main display is found on the top half of the Gasonics Asher. It displays the process being run and the current status of the machine. The LEDs located beneath the main display show the chamber pressure and the gas pressures. The keypad is located on the right side of the main display. Please do not turn the key. The key should remain in auto mode. Please do not remove the key. The key is needed by the staff to program and do maintenance on the system. The off button shown here is the emergency off button. Please only press the emergency off button in the case of an emergency. All the 4-inch wafers that need to be processed must be loaded into the load boat. The boat is then placed onto the loading platform with the H-bar of the boat placed over the sensor lever. All the wafers must have the large flat part of the wafer facing the machine. The unload boat must also be placed in the same manner onto the unload platform. The platform should go all the way down if the boat is empty. If it has wafers in it, it will go down until the optic sensor detects a wafer. The platform will then stop at that point. To load a recipe, press the recipe button on the keypad. Then choose the recipe you want to run by pressing that number or letter. Then press enter. After the recipe has been chosen, the start button must be pushed to activate the process.
the machine is running, please do not stick your arm in the system. Injuries can occur if this is done. Once the load boat is empty, simply remove your wafers from the unload boat and leave the machine. The machine will then enter the hibernate mode automatically after a few minutes. After each run, if another set of wafers needs to be processed, the sensors on both platforms must be reset by tilting the boats back and putting them back down. The unload platform should go all the way down since the boat should be empty. The off button shown here is used to power down the system. Please do not press the off button. The system needs to be turned on a specific way for it to work properly. In the case of a power outage, please contact MIRC staff to reactivate the machine. After watching this training video, you should have a good understanding of how to use the Gasonics Asher. You should know how to load a sample and run a recipe. If you have any further questions, please direct them to the trainer for this equipment. Please do not direct your questions to Mohammed.